<laughs> oh man, y'all, you can't make this up. Y'all, good morning to everybody except LaShawn McCoy. Shady McCoy has been nothing but shady to my quarterback, my quarterback of the Chicago Bears, Justin Fields, right? And I know where a lot of this stems from, but I'm going to break it down, right? But for those who don't know, LaShawn McCoy is a part of the um, the sports show Speak for Yourself on Fox Sports 1 or FS1, right? And he gets on the program and starts trashing Justin Fields. Basically saying that Justin Fields cannot throw the football at all. He's simply a runner. He's great at running. That's it. He can't see no big name wide receiver wanting to go play for the Chicago Bears while Justin Fields is under center. Um, he says that a lot of people are saying that Justin Fields needs help. He needs help at the wide receiver spot. And he said he can he said he can see the same. He can see Darnell Mooney and and, and Claypool saying the same thing. Well, we need a guy that can throw the football. He's saying they need a guy that can get them the ball. Justin Fields cannot get them, cannot get them the football because he can't throw it all. And y'all, yo, I promise y'all, when I heard this take, I was scratching my head all, all the way across the board. First of all, let's be clear. Claypool nor Mooney are number one wide receivers at all. Neither one of them are number one receivers. And it's not, it is not fair to judge Justin Fields' ability to throw the football until he gets a guy who is a number one receiver. Because we saw before Tua got Tyreek Hill, everybody was saying Ty, uh, Tua was a game manager. The Alabama quarterback was going to be a bust. All he could do, all he could do is manage a game. That's it. He could simply um, not lose you the game. He, they, people thought he was not a quarterback that could win you a football game until Tyreek Hill came. When Tyreek came, life changed for Tua. Tua started, people started looking at Tua completely different. Oh, my God. And it wasn't like Tua just took all these big progressions as a quarterback. He got a guy that's a threat, a guy who can catch the ball, who, who can create separation on his routes, so on and so forth. So now Tua looks like, oh, my God, he's just he's a great young quarterback now. And the sky's the limit for Tua because he has a number one option. So until um, Justin Fields get that, gets that option, that number one receiving option, like a number one receiver, we can't, we cannot fairly judge him or criticize him on his ability to play quarterback or throw the football in his league, right? And furthermore, the take that Justin can't throw the football is crazy. That's absurd. My man, like, there's no way um, Shady McCoy could have watched the Chicago Bears play football and watched us score 30, three, three weeks in a row, and think we just did that by running the football. There's no way. We didn't do it just by running the football. Justin Fields can throw the football. Like, what are you talking about? And then the, cra the crazy thing about it is, this is how I know a lot of these analysts do not watch the games. They're paid to watch football games and provide commentary on it, provide, provide opinions and provide, you know, insight, you know, what's going on with certain teams, so on and so forth. But they don't watch the games for real. Because if you watch the football games, you would see that in a lot of situations, and because he also made the point, how can we brag about a guy that's just, he basically just running the football and they're losing a lot of their games. They're losing the majority of their games. Well, you would see that Justin Fields threw some nice passes at the, at the end of a lot of those games, and his receivers did what? Drop the football. They could not catch the ball, couldn't catch a cold, right? So in that case, the brother was delivering the football to them brothers on the money. They just boggled passes, had butterfingers, and the ball slipped out of their hands. And guess what? We lose the game. So cut it out, right? But again, to say he can't throw the football, bro, like, no. Again, we ain't scored. We haven't scored th 33 weeks in a row just because he can run. If if they, like I promise y'all, if that was the case, we wouldn't have been able to, like, no, nah, the Muzz would have stopped him at some point. Justin Fields is extremely fast. He's explosive and all of that, right? But at some point, if he was just running, they would be they would be able to to uh, cover him much easily if, if that was the case. It doesn't make sense, right? Saying he can't throw is crazy. There are some legitimate knocks on Justin Fields, right? No, he's not a perfect pocket passer. 
he's not the just uh, amazing, perfect passer. He's not Tom Brady, right? Yes, uh, Justin needs to get the football out quicker. And sometimes he needs to take some of the easy completions that are open for him. I can agree to that, right? But the assessment that he can't throw the football is crazy. What what uh what Shady McCoy be saying? Crazy work. That's some crazy work to be saying on TV. Because you know who can't throw the football? Tim Tebow couldn't throw the football in the NFL. At one point, at what point have you watched Justin Fields play and say that brother look like Tim Tebow? At what point have you seen that? Justin don't look like Mitch Trubisky. Like, come on, man, he looks way better than Mitch ever did. So what are we talking about, man? Like, and then the brother talking about when I say the brother, I'm talking about. LaShawn McCoy, Shady McCoy. Shady McCoy, get on TV, national TV, talking about Justin has a decent offensive line. Brother, what? What, bro? Like, damn near every time Justin Fields drop, drops back, it's pressure right in his grill, right in his face. Like, come on, what? Are, like, there's no way they can watch the Chicago Bears play and say something. Like, he can be watching the Chicago Bears play and say something like that. You know, then the man said Justin has been a, he's been a running quarterback since college. Brother, tell me you've never watched Justin Fields play at Ohio State without saying it directly. Say you never watched him play at Ohio State without saying it directly because you couldn't have watched him play at Ohio State with that type of assessment. You couldn't have. Justin threw the ball way more in college, way more than ran in college. What are you talking about? Shady just on TV to give these wild outlandish takes. He's on TV to say things that's controversial, to keep the pot stirring, just to keep every, you know, for the sake of keeping the conversation going. But it's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, no. There's no way he can be on TV to give these wild ass inadequate takes. Like, bro, no. Like, I, <laughs> again, he's on TV to keep the conversation going. He can't really believe this. He can't really believe the stuff that he says. Shady, I think he likes to be this controversial figure. You know, he could be the, um, you know, I say this because of uh, the comparison between the I Am Athlete podcast now and the Pivot podcast. He want to be a Channing Crowder type. So he want to come out and say the wild stuff just to get, you know, the ratings and stuff. And TV needs guys like that. But if you're going to say something like that, have it based in some type of merit. around. Like, it's like, no, like, I, I'm not saying Justin Fields is Tom Brady. I'm not saying he's Aaron Rodgers, but can't throw, bro. Brother had three touchdowns. Three um three passing touchdowns last week. Like what did we was it was three last week or the two three the week before? Recently he had three touchdown passes. Right? So come on, man. And, and he can't believe this. And if he does, again, this is proof that a lot of these analysts don't watch the games like their job requires them to do, or this is proof that not every NFL player knows the game of football the way we think they do. You know what I mean? Like, and the problem with LaShawn McCoy is he's the type of guy that never wants to be wrong. He never wants to admit that he was wrong ever in life because this started some weeks back when Justin had a really great game on TV, a really great showing. Um, and <clears throat> Shady come on TV and saying, well, you know, the kid, he can run the ball. He's a great running back. He's a great running back. He can run the ball. Well, he can't throw, right? Then so they, so Iman, Emmanuel Acho and them, you know, beg to differ with him. You know, they disagree with him. He gets Justin Fields' stats in front of him, right? And as he's reading the stat sheet, he's like, oh, that game, he didn't pass for that many yards. Okay, well, that game, oh, it's pretty good. Okay, that game pretty good. And I mean, that's pretty good. But still, but still, he can't. No, brother, you saw them stats because a lot of people go off stats, read them stats, and them some, them some pretty, they not, they not amazing numbers, but that's some decent numbers for a quarterback throwing a football, especially when you're under duress and you don't have the weapons that Justin Fields, like you, you're limited with weapons that you have you know, in the situation that Justin Fields is in. Those are, those are some decent numbers, for real. And even Shady McCoy said, okay, that's pretty solid, right? He didn't, instead of saying, you know what, y'all, I'm assessing this wrong. That's wrong. He's trying to die on the hill that Justin Fields can't throw the football because he'd rather do that than say, you know what, I was wrong in my assessment. Maybe I saw some stuff I didn't watch it too closely. Maybe I judged it incorrectly. He ain't got to say I didn't watch the games. He can just even say, you know what, I was looking at some things the wrong way. I was looking at it from a wrong angle. I should have been judging it from a different perspective. And now that I'm looking at it from a different perspective, you know what? Justin Fields is solid. He got a lot of promise. Instead of saying he was wrong, as he was reading them stats and he was seeing, damn, no, nah, the dude, he, he, he can throw. He can throw. Damn. You know what? Damn. That is, he ran the ball good right here, but he also did throw pretty decent. Instead of just saying that, you know, hey, man, y'all look, okay, 
Y'all right, y'all right, y'all got me on that one. Okay, okay. Maybe the maybe the boy throwing, he's throwing, he's a little bit better at throwing than what I thought. Instead of saying that, he rather die on the hill that Justin can't throw because he don't want to be looked at as wrong. And he don't a lot of analysts on TV have a problem with admitting that they were wrong in an, in an, in the assessment of a guy. They'd rather say, I didn't say that, or what I really uh well, when you think about it, they try to spin it. You know, do a lot of um, what's the word I'm looking for? They try to do a lot of um, a play a game of semantics. I, I didn't say it like this. I said it like that. Or try to play uh, mental gymnastics with in a way to try to twist it to make it seem like what they said was really true. No, just say you were wrong, brother. That's it. That's it. He's, a, he's refusing to admit that he was wrong, so he'd rather just die on the hill that Justin can't throw. And what's crazy is after Shady has this type of opinion, a year from now, Shady will come out and act like he never said any of this when Justin Fields is throwing all over the NFC North and all over the league. He'll rather say, he'll rather act like he never said this. He won't come out and say, you know, I was wrong about Justin Fields. He rather just, he probably act like it never happened and then hop, hop on the train, hop all aboard, hop on and just ride the train like everybody else instead of saying, I was wrong in my assessment. But Shady, it's like he hating on him and he doing it because he don't want to admit he wrong. So every week he's going to try to find little holes in Justin Fields' game just to say he can't throw, he can't throw, he can't throw. He'd rather do that than to, just, than to say I was wrong. He's going to try to nitpick one. I bet you. I bet you next week if Justin have, you know, some some uh, a, a throwing error here or there or one or two, he'll say, look, this y'all guy, right? This the guy y'all want, right? Who wants to play with that? Who wants to play with that? Justin can throw for 230 yards, 245 yards. He'll still say, you know what? He can Justin can throw for 260. He'll still say, you know what? That pass right there. That's why guys, a number one receiver is not going to go play for Justin Fields. I told y'all. I told y'all. If he can't make that pass right there, he's not an NFL starting quarterback. He's not a franchise guy that a number one receiver will want to play for. He'll go out and say something like that if Justin Fields misses one or two passes because he'd rather look right than just admit that he was wrong. Shady, cut it out, bro. Cut that. Take that hating ass shit back on I Am Athlete. And <laughs> take it over there, man, for real. And look, I I was a fan of I Am Athlete when it first started. I watch them occasionally, occasionally still, depending on who the guest is. But y'all, some of these takes y'all got is a little wild. And maybe because some of y'all just focus on making headlines and going viral like, like LaShawn McCoy is, maybe, maybe because, maybe since that's the focus over there, maybe that's the reason why the Pivot Podcast is killing them right now. Maybe that's the reason why Pivot is killing them, stepping on their neck uh, and applying pressure in a different kind of way. Because y'all know them views is not the same since Channing Crowder and Fred Taylor left and been over at the Pivot. The Pivot been over there killing, killing the game. I am aptly only going to get mega views depending on who the guest is. The Pivot can get great views whoever they talking to because they don't just try to reach for clickbait all the time. They have conversations, good dialogue. And, and, and honest assessments, and they admit, okay, you know, I looked at that wrong. Shady, they over there with guys like Shady, and while Shady can say some things that can be interesting and whatever, he'll say some outlandish ass shit just to go viral, just to be looked at as the contrarian. Nah, bro, this ain't that ain't it, bro. Not about what my man Tio said. <laughs> my quarterback. My quarterback. Not about my quarterback, brother. Not in Chicago, Illinois. Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out. Peace.